water energy nexus has become an increasingly important conversation in California. This energy use for water systems makes up a significant portion of the state's carbon footprint. As part of the state's carbon reduction goals, the scoping plan specifically lists water systems as an opportunity for emissions reductions. The Climate Registry worked with water agencies in Southern California since 2013 to better understand their carbon impacts and energy use, help increase efficiencies, and manage their greenhouse gas emissions. This culminated in the Water Energy Greenhouse Gas, or WEG, guidance. Although there are some tools developed to help water agencies manage emissions, the WEG guidance is the first to take a look at emissions impacts for the whole system. Metropolitan is the regional wholesaler for Southern California. We are the primary provider of imported water supplies to the region. We serve 26 member agencies, 19 million people ultimately, and our goal is to deliver water in an economically and environmentally sustainable way. Participating in the WEG guidance was a rewarding experience for Metropolitan, for me personally, and also for the other staff that participated. We learned a lot about how we calculate greenhouse gas emissions, how we account for hydropower, how we account for storage. Metropolitan has always taken steps to reduce our energy since our formation in the way we've built our system. We have 130 megawatts of hydropower in our distribution system. We've installed five megawatts of solar power at our treatment plants. We're taking concrete actions to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. Participating with the registry and reporting our greenhouse gas emissions is going to help us as we take these actions to track our progress. The WED Guidance 1.0 helps water agencies quantify the emissions associated with operations before water is delivered to the tap. In the first phase of the WED Guidance development, TCR hosted six workshops with water agencies to define the greenhouse gas emissions embedded in the water that they deliver to end users. Then we conducted a pilot with close to 20 water agencies to test the guidance. Now, the WEG 2.0 will expand the guidance to take into account emissions associated with downstream water operations, such as wastewater and recycled water. California's water supplies are being increasingly affected by population growth, prolonged and severe droughts, and climate change. West Basin has participated in the WEG guidance, the WEG pilot, and now we're excited to participate in the WEG guidance 2.0. What we know now is that our disinfected tertiary process takes up less energy because it's mostly gravity fed, whereas our seawater intrusion and groundwater replenishment water takes up more energy because it goes through microfiltration, reverse osmosis, and UV light treatments. So having this white guidance will really help us determine what technologies to pursue in our capital improvement projects, and also what equipment to specify and really overall optimize operations while still reducing greenhouse gas emissions and our carbon footprint. Recycled water is going to be a long-term resource for Southern California. For that reason, it's very important for us to understand the downstream emissions impact associated with this water use. This is a great example of bringing together energy providers and water providers to envision a more sustainable and efficient California.